One in 10 Americans over age 65 is living with Alzheimer's disease. It's the most costly disease to our society right now. It exceeds cancer, it exceeds heart disease with regard to costs to society. There is no cure for Alzheimer's disease, only medications to help treat the symptoms. And now, news about a drug that may slow the progression of the disease. Dr. Ronald Peterson says he's cautiously optimistic about BAN2401, an antibody that showed reduction of amyloid accumulated in the brain during clinical drug trials. It was suggestive that this drug may in fact remove one of the toxic proteins from the brain that causes Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Peterson says while it was a very complicated trial design, the research is encouraging. It gives us a shot in the arm because there have been so many failures of major drug trials in the Alzheimer's field in the last 10 years that when we see a positive signal like this moving in the right direction clinically and biologically, it's encouraging. For now, he recommends exercise for the body and mind along with a heart healthy diet. There is a fair amount of evidence that exercise, aerobic exercise, maybe some resistance training as well, can actually slow the progression or delay the onset of clinical symptoms. Keep intellectually active, stay socially involved, and enjoy a Mediterranean diet, all ways Dr. Peterson says to support brain health and possibly reduce the risk of Alzheimer's. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Ian Roth.